Hi guys, my name is Gunnar Jemsicle and welcome to episode, we are on episode 8 of Mean Girls Senior Year. It's been not going so well with Regina, she really does, she bears a grudge in all fairness to her, she really does bear a grudge. Don't really blame her, we did wreck some stuff for her when we were younger but she is intent on punishing us for that forever and we're fighting for this place in Yale, let's uh, go ahead and see what episode 8 has to offer. So this is one month later after what has previously happened, after the blood drive and everything in last episode. So let's see what has happened in that month. Here's Karen. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're counting down the days to winter break and that means the clock is ticking on the college applications deadline. It might be cold outside but things are heating up in the battle for Yale. It's neck and neck between Green Eye Gemsicle, sorry, in a hurry, oh, we didn't want to stop and talk to Karen, <laughs> and Regina George, who will pocket a whopping three million dollars if she goes to the school of Greenoid's dreams. <laughs> oh, hey everyone, love ya! Regina, tell us what happened with your sats. I'm on my way to check the results right now. I'm proud to report my SAT tests all came back negative. I forgot last episode we sat the SAT tests. That's STD, Karen. Oh my goodness. Karen is a dope. A complete and not a dope. Oh. I hope Regina gets in. We can take a buttload of trips to Carbo with three million dollars. And now my lottery number predictions. Six nine thirty-two <laughs> she's crazy that girl just absolutely crazy come on come on come on what's the emergency my sat scores came out two minutes ago and my stupid phone's frozen you waited two whole minutes you're slacking jemsical maybe go old school and try the computer lab good idea Clear the path, people. Greenoids on a mission. I wonder if she did well. I think she. I hope she did. Thanks. Good luck. Ever since the blood drive, Mika kept popping into my mind. I just needed to know if he liked me or not. It had me so anxious. But so did checking my SAT results. Yeah, we found out that Mika hasn't got a girlfriend, but nor does he either want one. He said he doesn't want one. Not quite the scores I was hoping for. Oh, how'd you do? Regina's just everywhere. Pretend to be proud, dodge the question. Uh, dodge the question. How'd you do? <laughs> nice try, I asked you first. Why do you even want to know? I'm just curious, jeez. I'm trying to be friendly and you're all defensive over nothing. I'm not defensive. See what I mean? <laughs> Grr, she always does that. I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three, or oh, what should we say? A perfect score or say nothing? Let's say nothing. Fair enough. Oh, maybe that was the wrong thing to do. Not that it matters anyway. At this point, exactly. Too late to do anything about it. Exactly. We should have said perfect score. I regret that decision. Hey, Damien, have you checked your... Oh. That was weird. That was weird. Why did he just walk off? What's up with him? We're on a friend hiatus. <laughs> what happened? For the last three years, Damien and I have had this New Year's Eve tradition. He comes over, we order wings, we wait for the ball to drop. Then we take a shot every time the announcer says the word ball. We're usually passed out by ten. So? So I just broke the news that I made New Year's plans with Kevin. Oh, and it was not well received? Not at all. Offer to talk to Damien, offer, I'm going to offer to talk to Damien. Maybe I could talk to him. What would you say? To snap out of it. <laughs> Kidding. Try to give him some perspective, see your side of things and remind him how amazing you are, of course. Thanks, kid. So I'm going to the museum with Mika tomorrow. Oh, spicy. What are you wearing? I haven't even thought about it yet. I heard him say he really likes outfits that are cute and playful. Who would have thought? See if you have anything like that. I will. Thanks, Janice. Cute and playful. I was hoping I could use the museum trip to get a better read on if Mika was into me. 
true. It's basically homework, but the one-on-one -on -one time with Mika aspect has me overthinking my outfit. Let's see. I'll try something. I knew that cute and playful was going to be gems. Let's see. Cute and playful. Um, no, we haven't got 12 gems. Let's go conservative. I don't, I don't like that. No. Loathing this look. Let's go bold. Ooh. I like that. I don't think that Mika would like it though. I am loving this look. Let's go with it. Art and Mika. This should be interesting. Hey green eyed. He's got his same outfit on again. <laughs> hey. Glad you found me. I couldn't miss you wearing this. Is it too much? No, no, it looks great. Thanks. You ready? Uh-huh. Let's go learn stuff. Off they go. I know I'm supposed to be analysing the paintings, but Mika is way more visually appealing. They had some pretty choice fashion in Shakespeare's time, hey? Tights and pantaloons? I think you could rock that look. How about the crazy lace collar in that painting? You'd look pretty cute in one of those. It's like she's being choked by a bunch of coffee filters. <laughs> Hold on, I have an idea. What? I want a picture of you by that painting of the Queen. <gasps> he wants a picture. He wants me in his picture. Um, okay. So, what's your opinion on all this? Their wardrobes are gorgeous. But I think it's a prime example of how historically women have been held to impossible standards. I mean, poor Elizabeth, can you imagine trying to wage a war wearing that? Told ya, smartest person in the class. I wish. I got my SAT scores. They're not what I was expecting. I bet they still blow my score out of the water. I don't think they're strong enough to lock in Yale. Maybe you shouldn't let Yale decide what you think of yourself. Hmm, good point. Um, thanks. I'll make a note. <laughs> Always quit with the comebacks, it's cute. Did he just call me cute? You're almost at the finish line. After you send in your application, why don't you really reward yourself with something that has nothing to do with Yale? Expand your mind. Okay, I'll humour you. Like what? Well, if you love the bard so much, the community college puts on Shakespeare in the park. Oh, and a theatre in the city is doing much ado about nothing this spring. You should get tickets. Also, are you hungry? Starving. At this point, the rotting fruit in these Dutch still life paintings looks good to me. There's this incredible Italian spot down the street from here. Maybe we could grab dinner. Is he asking me out on a date? What do you think? Oh my goodness. How much does it cost to buy gems? 22 gems for £1.49. I want some gems, I want to go on this date with Mika! <sighs> pass on his offer. Do we, are we really going to pass on his offer? I'm going to pass on his offer. This is just... so. This is the most annoying one so far. We haven't had gems. Pass on his offer. I'd love to, but I have plans with Damien. I guess it'll have to be another time then. Later, Greenoid. So irritated by that. So, so irritated. Let me know down in the comments if you went to dinner with Mika and what happened. I would like to know. Janice doesn't want to hurt your feelings. I'm sure you can understand how torn she feels. I was already playing second fiddle to Janice, but now Kevin's in the orchestra. So what does that make me? Third fiddle? Probably lower. Probably like that idiot with the finger symbols. <laughs> <laughs> Try to imagine yourself in her shoes. Oh, I have, and I look amazing in them. <laughs> when, I well, I, when I really think about it, I get so angry. I could dance. Janice loves you. You should hear her out. Why should I listen when she turns a deaf ear to any of my emotional grievance grievances? Anyway, I already know what she would say. You do? So you're a mind reader then? Should I tell Karen to back down? You know what I meant. I'm joking. Now I do have this mental image of you co-hosting Karen Uncensored. Karen and me co-hosting? We would break the internet, probably. Anyway, my feelings won't change unless Janice changes her self-centred ways. I get your point of view, but try to use the weekend to get the angry out of your system. 
take your Janice temperature again on Monday. Green oil. But, but by Monday, Damien's Janice temperature had not improved. Oh dear. Good morning, Katie. Good morning, green eyed. Now that's just rude and childish, isn't it? Hey, don't worry about it. It's still so fresh. I know, I know. Give it time. I hate what's happening there. Me too. It breaks my heart. Ah. Oh, here's Gretchen. If I can come back from heartbreak, anyone can. Oh, you were right, green eyed. I took your advice and I got myself a real man. By comparison to Dane, he's a total grown up. That's great. I wonder who it is. Uh, when did this happen? What's he like? Well, he's tall and handsome and drives a yellow sports car with those winged doors. Is it his? Is it his or his parents? I'm pretty sure it's his. His name is Phil and he's so sophisticated. And your chin is almost totally healed. I can't tell where, that there was ever an issue. Well, I suppose you can thank Phil for that too. She fell over at the blood drive, didn't she? <laughs> Love works wonders, I guess. I'm dying to know what this guy's deal is. Well, at the same time, I'm very afraid what I might learn. I gotta pick up my last letter of recommendation. I'm pulling the trigger on my application tonight. Dun, dun, dun. Good luck with that and with your mum. Let me know how it goes. I will. Thanks, Katie. Back at home with mum. That night, I had my whole Yale application squared away and ready to submit. Here goes nothing. Wait, I feel like we should mark this moment. Let's sing the Yale fight song. The whole thing? Okay, okay, just your favourite part. Six, seven, eight. We'll roll the score so very high that you will hear them sigh. Well, I, well, I, blue, blue. <laughs> Is this actually the Yale song? Wella, wella, boola, boo, boola, boola, boo, boola, boo, boola, 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 boo. What is this? Uh, and off it goes. I'm so proud of you, green eyed. It's gone. We've put in the application. I thought after sending it in, I could finally take a mental vacation. But my mind was anything but relaxed. I couldn't stop thinking about Mika. And turns out he was thinking about me too. Bzzz, the phone. Oh, glad we're friends. <laughs> but maybe not in the way I hoped. It's an odd text to send, isn't it? Just glad we're friends. Oh, that's the end. Ah, oh, that's the end of episode eight. Right, guys. Don't know what's going to happen. Don't know whether we're going to get into yeah. We put our application in. I wonder what's going to happen with Mika. I don't know, but anyway, thanks so much for watching episode 8. If you've played your game slightly different and things going on differently in your game, let me know. What? Don't tell me anything that's going to happen in the future, but sort of previous things that have happened, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to kind of know how people's games are differing. But thank you so much for watching this episode. Go ahead and thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and join me next week for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.